Hi, this is a video on inserting uh, a photo into another photo. Uh, we're going to be doing some cropping and we're going to be doing some uh, layers. And uh, what our goal is, is to be taking a part of a photo and putting it into another photo. You might have seen this several times when you see, uh, let's say, a celebrity inserted into a photo where they were never in this photo or this location. Um, in this case, we're going to be taking, uh, not a celebrity, but we're going to take my daughter and we're going to put her into a, um, a pipe. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to open a photo. Now we're going to start out with the photo that we want to get the person out of. Now in this case this is my daughter and I'm choosing this photo because she looks like she's holding on to something. Well she is holding on to something but when I put her into the other photo I want her to look like she's holding on to whatever I've inserted it into. So um, being in a swing that is a good photo to use for that sort of thing and you don't have to do the same thing but we're just going to be going over how to do it if you wanted to do it so now we've got this photo open I'll open it a little bit bigger because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going a little bit into detail of the photo I'm going to change my percentage this photo right now is at a hundred percent you can see it's not very big I'm going to change it to 150% here on the bottom. Make it a little bit bigger. That way I can get a little bit closer in. Now, what we're going to be using here is up on the left. It's called Path Tool. We're going to be creating a path. So I'm going to click this tool and then I'm going to start creating a path. Now what you're going to do is, is you're just going to create a cutout from this photo. And what I'm going to be telling the program is, is here are the edges of the cutout. I'm going to be cutting her out of this photo. So we're going to start, um, doesn't really matter where, we'll start here on the corner of her hood. Now when you're doing paths, you're just going to be clicking the left mouse button as you move along the edge of whatever photo is you're going to be cutting out. So you can kind of think of this as using your scissors right now. If, I, if this was a physical photo, I would be using my scissors to cut along the edge here to cut her out if I wanted to put her physically into another photo. But in this case, we're just clicking the left mouse button as we move down around the edges. Now let's say I make a mistake. If I'm going around the edges here and then I go, whoops, I don't want to get part of that rock, well, I can go back up here to edit, undo, add anchor. Each one of these little dots is an anchor. So I can undo and undo until I get back to where I want to be, and I can just continue where I left off. So that might be a question that might come up. Whoops, I made a mistake. How do I go back? Just use that uh, undo function. It works fine. So I'm going to be going around her hand here because I want her hand to look like whatever I put her on top of, she's holding on to it. So you can kind of see why I got a little closer or increased the size of this photo because I want to be able to make sure I get around the edges. We want, we want to make sure this is nice and clean. Oops. Let's undo one here. I want to make sure that I'm going the right direction. Now I'm going to go across here in front of her because I don't want to get any of the swing. A nice clean line here. Now you'll find that when you have more curves you're going to have more anchors. The more curves and changes in the lines, you're going to have more anchors. If there aren't any changes, you'll have less anchors. You notice that over here in the middle, I was able to go skip a distance before I made another anchor because it's basically a, a not so straight line. It's 
pretty it's close to being straight but uh, as opposed to these other areas I've really got to stay close so I'm not cutting anything off and I'm staying true to the curves that are in this photo so we're getting close to the end here now when I'm getting close to my original one I'm not going to click the original one until I hold down the control button on your keyboard now the control button on your keyboard if you're not familiar with it it's the one that says CTRL on some keyboards you're gonna hold that one down before you click the original first anchor and then you're gonna click the original first anchor that tells the program that's the end that's what I'm gonna use now you're gonna go over here and you're gonna right click um, the current layer we have and we're gonna do so now I'm gonna go down to uh, this right hand side where I have layers and I can see my layers here and I'm gonna choose the paths dialog you can see there's several tabs here and we're gonna choose the path one we've got a path chosen here and now we're gonna right click this uh, area that has the path and we're gonna go to path to selection we're gonna click that once we've clicked that you can kinda see that there's a um, dotted line that's going around her here okay and now that we've got that selected we're gonna go to image or select excuse me and then we're gonna invert the selection okay now what we're gonna do is after we've inverted selection we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna say clear okay now that takes out uh, whatever was in the background okay so now we're gonna go back to the layers and we you, you can see we've got this layer here and we've got this layer down here uh, we're gonna be getting rid of that one but for the moment we'll just leave it there so now we've got our path here of um, a little girl looks like she's holding on to something and we're gonna insert that into another photo so now I'm gonna open the other photo I'm gonna go file open so we've got the pipe um, layer opened up but we're going to before we open it where we can see it we're going to take her and we're gonna invert the selection again okay and then we're going to go to edit we're gonna say copy now we're gonna open the pipe photo and then we're going to right click we're going to go back and we're going to go to edit paste that puts her in there now of course she's a lot bigger than the pipe but let's open this up a little bit so we can kinda see what we've got going on but you can see that she's over the pipe um, uh, layer that we've got open first thing we're going to do is is we're going to change our tool here right now we've got the paths tool still going we're gonna go to uh, this square one on top rectangle select tool just so I can go here and I can move her around if I want to okay so I'm gonna move her up top here okay and since I still have her selected I'm gonna right click her and now I'm gonna start scaling her layer we don't want to scale her image or the image because it's going to scale the entire image we just want this one layer the layer that she's on we want to scale it so we're gonna to go to layer after right clicking we're gonna to go to scale layer now this is where it's gonna vary very much from what I do you're gonna just kind of eyeball it what looks best in your picture is not gonna look best in, with my picture so I'm gonna kind of go to 230 and I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna have to go more than that but I just want to see how it's gonna end up okay I'm gonna go little by little that way I make sure I um, don't overshoot it too much so we're gonna scale layer again and this window opens up and I'm going to bring it down you can see it's got this little anchor on there and that means or a chain link in the ch chain links and what that's doing is it's making sure your height and your width are changing together that I'm not going to make it too uh, stretched out or 
um, uh, squished a photo so it doesn't look right anymore. Everything scaled correctly. So I'm going to go 190. Okay, getting close here. A little bit more. So I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go to layer. I'm going to go to scale layer. And let's try 170 and see how that works. Scale. Okay, looks like a little bit more. Just a little bit more, I'll go with. Let's see, layer, scale layer. I'm going to go a little bit further down. 155. Okay. Actually, I want to put her here on the side here. That way, it looks like her elbow here on the left is sitting on top of it. Okay. But that's what you do. You move it around, you get it to where you want it to go, and uh, once you're happy with it, then you can export it. Export it as any type of file that you want, but uh, that's pretty much it. You've got the basics there. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer them best I can. Uh, but in any case, this is a video on taking uh, a person or part of a photo out of one photo and inserting them into another. And um, turned out pretty good. Um, there's other tweaking we could do, but in, in basics, that's, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.